So how long have you been an artist in residence at Wimbledon Art Studios? I'm quite shocked to say it's 11 years already. I can't believe it that I'm here for 11 years since that building was actually built. Yeah. So this was my first studio and I'm still here. Yeah. And it's yeah. wonderful. I've got my skylight. It's bright. The light is beautiful. The community is lovely. It's just wonderful to be with, you know, this creative artists. It's about 250 artists. 150 artists taking part in the open studios. 150 artists, can you believe it? I can't believe it. <laughs> I mean, it is huge. It, it, it is huge. And you really love that kind of environment. So tell me more about your concept. My concept? Um, I was always interested in the magic and the beauty of water. And I feel naturally drawn to water as I guess you feel the same. Yeah. A lot of people feel like that. And it's, it's about exploring a kind of universal language, almost. I'm interested in the texture of the water, in the reflections, uh, but also in the kind of spiritual aspects of the water, the healing qualities of water, so my photography is taken in its true colours. There is no post-production. I love Photoshop and Lightroom, don't get me wrong. Yeah, <laughs> It's great, it's great for some work. But for this, where it's all about, you know, getting into it, getting to the point, bringing out the truth. Mm. So this is what my work is about. I would also like to raise some awareness of uh, what water means to us. And this is where the installation, there is only one water coming in, which is a projection of my photography yeah. onto the headless woman, onto, you know, the painted wave that I did, uh, as really raising awareness, do we need that much plastic, making conscious choices. Is a short time convenience really so convenient for us? How can we change? How can we make you know, our planet a better place? And how can we all share this information? It's really sort of going down to discovering the truth. You know, what, what can we all learn? What can we all explore and share? And what can we work on together? I feel living in London, London is such a busy place. It's such a fast city to live in. And for me, it's important to ground yourself. And water is very grounding. Nature is very grounding. I really like people to find their connection again to nature, to water. We all love being at the ocean, don't we? Oh, it's, yes. <laughs> it's wonderful. Uh, you just come back super refreshed. And in my work, I like to bring that kind of quality of relaxation back to my clients. So by just sharing a photograph of water, I realized that I just automatically go to that place. You can travel, it takes you anywhere where you would like to go. So it's fabulous that we have these shows and all the artists sort of spend 120 pounds to you know support these shows so we all have to pay in and then we also give a, a little mini masterpiece of our original work that gets sold even before the art fair online for 85 pounds so we all chip in to make this happen and you know to really make art accessible to the public which is amazing I'd love to have more shows or, you know, bigger advertisement actually for more people to come in because our budget is still not, you know, it's, it's, it's not much. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, it would help, you know, if, if we could get some more funding for the shows to really reach a broader audience. Yeah, because how are you finding, how are you finding it? I mean, having to pay so much money to exhibit your work. Well, you know, for some art, artists, it's, it's really hard. So we have 250 artists here. 
but only 150 take part and because they, they are thinking can I afford 120 pounds plus 85 pounds for the mini masterpiece or for the time I put into the work it's a lot of money mm -hmm. and they probably would like to take part but they decide I can't or I don't have the time because I've got another full-time job because I can't afford being a full-time artist yeah it's a bit of a vicious surgery which is hard and I think you know if there would be more kind of organizations out there or more support uh, with funding then you know how great would it be that artists wouldn't have to pay for that yes. you know they all would open the door and say hey come in see my work yeah and they probably would then be more encouraged to become a full-time artist and not work you know at, at a job they don't like. This is a photograph of the Adriatic Sea. I'm giving that away. Yeah. Uh, I loved all the texture. I loved the, color the colors and the clarity. And I took lots of photographs just of the green turquoise colors. And then I thought, okay, that's all wonderful, but I need a complementary color. So I was really searching for it. I don't put anything into the water. So I'm always looking to find something that is there naturally, and I found something. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm wondering what it is. Mm. I'm not giving that away. Oh, the secrets. <laughs> but you know, the, the thing is, if you look at it, it's so wonderful to hear what people can actually discover on their journey there. Yeah. And by me saying it, I, I would not allow their inspiration, you know, their, their fantasy, uh, to take them on this journey. Yeah. I yeah. would take away off that. Yeah. Yeah. So I quite like the for people to, to discover <laughs> what, what they see. Yeah. What do you see? I know, what do I see? I just want to be there. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to be there. You know, some some people see a female body. Oh yeah. yeah. I can see a figure there at the end. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some people see a Buddha in there, which mm. it, it took me quite a while to find it. A Buddha. But, you know, I found him. So that, that's actually quite funny because my process is, is quite a meditative one. Mm. 